Tyler the Great Warrior is going insane. I'm What's up guys, we're back with another Tyler the Great Warrior update, which I said I'm probably not gonna do. But guess what guys, that this card has gone so insane that I was unable to resist making another video about this. Last time we saw this card, it was like at 160,000, something like that. Last night, you know, whatever, 160,000, it made it to 100,000 the first day. So went up another 60, which is a lot of money, but compared to the 100K, it hasn't gone up that much. Somewhat of an incremental raise, you know, not that insane. But this morning, this card went up to 1.4 million dollars so i just went live on twitch and we were checking this thing out we we're checking out the bid history and everything but this card is officially at 1.4001 million dollars this is insane this is by far the most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh card don't bring up that that bls again i'm talking about tcg bls probably not even a real thing we don't know about it. it's all rumors I'm not going to bring it up. It's OCG anyway. But TCG, this is by far the most expensive card ever if this holds up. So we're, of course, going to take a look at the bids. We were doing this live. Let's just take a look. This was the top bidder as of last night around April 25th. This is 2.45 uh, PDT, which is Pacific time, so 4.45 my time. Until this morning at 7.50 a.m., aka 9.50 my time, so about two hours before I was recording this, Someone decided to bid up against the highest bidder here, so they won, but it kept getting up bids. So you're like, wait, why are they bidding against themselves? We talked about this earlier. So what appears to have happened here is this person outbid this guy this morning, but then someone else had a bid available as well. So they're facing up against that person's max bid, and they're not actually bidding themselves up, but they're being upbid by the other person's max bid. This is very confusing. Let me explain this in simple terms. There's an auction. Someone's winning it with nine bucks. I bid $10, but I also bid a max bid of $100. Someone else then comes by and bids $11. Well, my max bid is automatically going to upbid them to $12. they are going to bid it to $13. If they want to go up to $13, maybe their max bid is up $13. Mine goes up to $14 automatically. I don't have to do this manually. It's automatically happening. Up until they get to $100, then they'll have to exceed $100 my max bid, and then it'll stop. So I'll get if they go to $101, my max bid then stops. So what's happening here is... This person apparently had a max bid of, if you take a look here, this is all going up in increments of seconds here. So we're at 750, it's a couple seconds later, a couple seconds later, it's going up. So it's the max bid increasing. So as you can see here, it's the same guy going up in increments of a few seconds every time. So it looks like their max bid is going up and up and up. So someone's bidding against them. They're like, okay, what are they at? What are they at? What are they at? And boom, boom, they bid up to 250, 300K. This is only 10 seconds later. Uh, another 11 seconds, 400K, uh, another few seconds later, 600K, 700K, $1 million, that wasn't their max bid, $1.4 million, and boom, we have revealed, this person was the person bidding up, so it looks like the four guy had a $1.4 million max bid, and this person outbid that bid, now, look, I know what you're thinking, zero feedback, what's up with that? So I don't know exactly how eBay is running this. I don't know if you have to verify that you can spend $1.4 million before you can bid that, but I knew, do know that they're checking in on the authenticity of the bid right away because uh, Simo hopped in my chat during, on Twitch and he said that eBay was checking in with this to make sure it is a legit bid because if it's not, obviously it can't stay up there. They don't want it to end on a shill bid. Obviously, shill bidding is a big deal and we don't want that to happen on such a big auction. I would think that with something this big of a deal that they've collaborated with eBay with, that eBay is not gonna allow like shill bidders to like stay alive on the bids. And as you can see here, there's been no retraction. So it looks like there hasn't been any shill bidders yet, or at least they haven't checked yet. This is gonna be quite the question. I want you guys to let me know in the comments. Do you think this is a real bid? There's some questions about it. It's zero feedback. Do you think it's gonna actually go for 1.4 million? I mean, if this is a legit bid, it's gonna go for probably more than that because we have three days and eight hours left. There is so much time until this thing ends. Wow, I cannot believe this has gotten up to this number. The thing about shill bidding though, normally you're shill bidding something that's a low number. I mean, it's not really a big deal for eBay, but if someone was to shill bid a 1.4 million then try to retract it, I feel like eBay could come after you for that because, I mean, a 1.4 million number is something big enough and, like, relevant enough for them to actually try. So, obviously, I said this was going to be, like, a $325,000 card. I thought that was going to be, like, you know, that was my, my sweet spot for what I thought it would go for. If this is correct, I mean, we are not even close, but we'll have to find out. I mean, in a couple of days, we're going to know, or probably tomorrow, even, we're going to know if this is legit. If somebody upbids this, if this stays live, then this is probably, you know, it's probably a legit bid. And uh, the interesting thing is it's only these two guys. So it was at 160. 
it's almost 10 times since then. It's 10 x from just two different people. One guy, and I mentioned this. I said, all it takes is two guys. So if these are two legit guys or two whales that want this, that's all it takes to go up to 1.4 million. I mean, we had a crazy amount of bidders up down, like going on down here to get it to 160, but all it takes is those two big time bidders to get it all the way up to something like $1.4 million. It also came to my attention during our live stream that apparently people are selling Tyler the Great Warrior keychains. There is a guy selling them for 10. There's a guy auctioning one off. So apparently this guy is auctioning. It looks like he already bought one and then is now auctioning it off, trying to get some of the hype, which is pretty wild. So, so this guy is auctioning one off. Twitch chat made me buy one. I know. Yeah, I do not buy this, by the way. I'm not recommending this. But apparently th this person is giving uh, money to charity. They're, they're donating to charity as they are profiting off Tower of the Great Warrior, which, I mean, I respect the hustle. They're, they're making it happen. But uh, they have sold a lot of these. I think they sold like 20 of them or something. Uh, they say apparently 25% is going to, to charity, so or Make-A-Wish Foundation, so I guess that's not a bad thing if they actually follow through with it, but I don't think anybody's actually going to follow up with them, so we'll see if they actually do it, or will we? Probably not. We did notice, hilariously, that they say that in 2012, Make-A-Wish Foundation arranged for Tyler to visit Konami, which we're pretty sure that it was 2002 when they talked to him, and then 2005 is when it actually happened. I don't know where 2002 or 2012 came from. That was... I don't think when that happened. So pretty interesting because I, Tyler, if that was the case, Tyler would be like, he was 12 when they came to him. He would only be like 20 something, like 23. And I think he's a lot older than that. So this number is definitely wrong, which is interesting. But yeah, people are doing things like selling Tyler Great Warrior. I don't know. There was a fake Tyler up. I'm going to see if that auction's still up. Okay. So it looks like when you search Tyler the Great Warrior, that Tyler the Great Warrior fake auction, there was like a proxy being sold. It was up to like $1,000. Fortunately, eBay took that down because a lot of people were actually bidding on that and it was up over a thousand bucks, which obviously it's not 1.4 million, but that's still a lot of money for, you know, a lot of people. And if someone were to buy a proxy thing, it was the real one that would really suck. So I'm glad that they took that down. Uh, I mean, you could see when a big event like this happens, everyone's trying to get in on it. You see me, I've made four videos about it. I know you guys want to hear about it. People are into this subject and it's such a big deal in the Yu-Gi-Oh community that, I mean, people are trying to make money off of it. They're making keychains. It's insane. Oh, no way. It happened live. There was not a legit bid. While I'm recording the video. Oh no. It was a shill bid. That is insane. It was a shill bid. eBay officially, I said they were looking into it and it looks like that was not a legit bid. These have been retracted. They retracted that guy's bid. It's back down to 160,000. It is no longer 1.4 million, which is insane. So. I'm still going to post this video in the same way because this will be interesting to see like a, a huge plot twist in the Ky Tyler, Ty I almost said Kyler, Tyler the Great Warrior. I'm assuming that other guy that was getting the 1.4 max bid was also retracted. So that actually didn't show the max bid. So now we really don't know. It's back to the same price that it was before. Wow, this is a huge plot twist. I've only been recording for 11 minutes of, of like, I, I mean, it's been shorter than that than what you guys have seen, but ele in 11 minutes of time, I was live for an hour and nothing happened. In 11 minutes of time, they retracted the bids and it's back to 160,000, which, hey, it makes sense. eBay, it looks like, so they are not making you confirm to bid, which is a problem. I think that they should restrict this so that you have to confirm your identity or at least confirm uh you know funds available to actually bid on this before you can actually put like a 1.4 million dollar bid up because then you could reveal somebody's max bid and then that could really mess up their bid because like you're not really supposed to know someone's max bid until you actually get to it you shouldn't be able to just reveal it with a fake bid okay that's pretty insane so it is uh it went 600 it went 1.4 million and now it's been retracted so it looks like that was a bunch of baloney it seems and uh okay cool what a way to end this this tyler the great warrior auction had a huge plot twist, that is for sure. So we're still at 160, which is kind of what we thought we were at before I woke up today, and we're still at the same thing. So we're gonna have to see live on uh, on Saturday, what happens. I am gonna be live Saturday for the end of this auction. Hopefully there's no shill bidding or anything weird like that. What a weird plot twist. Uh, pretty cool that this happened, li like not live because I'm recording it for you guys, but live for me. I'm in the middle of recording this video. I'm really glad that this didn't happen after I made the video, that would've sucked. So if you enjoyed the video, you wanna see more updates about cool news like this, let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe for more epic content like this.